Today we create a 3D logo reveal in After Effects. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, let's create a nice 3D logo reveal without using any third party plugins. It is gonna be 100% After Effects, really fun, interesting and a really cool technique. So yeah, with that said, let's jump into After Effects and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition, which is gonna be 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS, 10 seconds, should be good and let's call this main as this is going to be our main composition hit ok let's create one more composition where we can drag and drop in our logo so i'm going to call this logo here and then we can drop in any logo or you can also use a text if you want to so i'm going to drop in my logo that i have and let's actually scale this up a bit maybe around 120 just like so i can also go into the title action safe and just to be a bit sure about it yep looks pretty good let's drop the logo your composition into a new comp and i'm going to rename this to so hit Control k to rename it and i'm going to call this logo stroke okay and then go into the layer layer style and add a stroke layer style just like that and let's go into stroke let's increase the size to around maybe let's go with something like 15 and everything looks good let's change the position from outside to inside and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it or we can actually drag in the logo here again below that and let's actually on the first one add a fill effect and make it white and then I can change the track mat of this one. So you can hit F4 or toggle switch to track mat to see the track mat option and change the track mat option to Luma inverted mat. So we have just the strokes of the logo. Pretty nice. Now let's drag the logo stroke into a new composition and I'm going to rename this. So hit control K to open the composition settings and let's call this logo main. hit OK. Then on the logo stroke, I'm going to add a fill and make it white color. Let's add the logo here composition on the top of the logo stroke composition and then change the track mat of the logo stroke to alpha mat. All right. And on the logo here comp, I'm going to add an effect called Vegas. So now what I can do is go into the image contours, contours and set the channel intensity to channel alpha and we can play around with the threshold and stuff like that so let's actually leave that just like that and go into the segments let's bring down the segments to one and we can animate the length now we don't need we don't see anything is because we need to change the blend mode to transparent and now we can basically animate the stroke just like so also make sure to change the width to around let's go with something like 30 and everything i'm gonna set this to one and now we can animate the length just like so pretty cool you can also turn on random face so it's gonna start from a random direction so you can just you know play around with different settings so maybe I'll just make it start from something like that. Let's see. Yep, this looks much better to me. Maybe a bit more. So let's go 12 or something like that. Let's see. Yep, this looks much better. Now what I can do is actually go to 10 frames and set the length to zero. Create a keyframe. Go to around maybe three seconds or let's go to actually two seconds and let's set this to one so we have this really simple animation 
Let's select the keyframes, hit F9 to ease, ease those keyframes, go into the graph editor. If your graph editor doesn't look like this, make sure to right click and make sure you're working in the speed graph. Let's select the point and drag the handle a bit to the left and this one a bit to the right, creating kind of a peak which will give a really nice and smooth motion. You can see pretty cool. And that is what I am going for. And right over here at three seconds, I'm going to go select both the layers and hit Alt and close square bracket to crop the layers. Then add a logo your comp just like that. And then select the comp and hit Alt and open square bracket to crop the comp. So we have the we have a really simple switch from strokes to the main main logo. Just like so. All right. Then I'm going to drag the logo main into a new composition and let's call this actually let's hit control K and let's call this logo and make sure to turn it 3D and then into the main composition I'm going to drag in the logo comp just like so. So there we have it make sure to make it 3D and let's create a new null object. I'm going to call this settings. Also make this 3D duplicated. So hit control D to duplicate it or before duplicating it. What I need to do is actually select the logo and parent this to the settings null layer. Then go right over here or I think I'll, I need to set this to none. Select the settings and hit P to bring down the position properties and actually it is in the center. So I'm just turn off the 3D and align this into the center. So the window align. Yep. So now it is in the center. Let's make this 3D. Hit P. And yep, this is what I'm going for. Then now we can parent this layer to the settings layer. And now we can, you know, rotate it the way we want. All right. Let's actually pretty quickly create a new camera as well. 24 millimeters looks good. Hit OK. And then create a new null object. So I'm going to duplicate the settings layer. So hit Control D to duplicate it. And let's call this controller. And we will do all the animation onto this controller. So let's pattern the settings to the controller. OK. Then I can go into the camera actually. Hit P and push this back a bit just like so and there we go something like that looking pretty good maybe a bit more all right now let's go ahead and animate this so let's go to two seconds select the controller hit p to bring down the position properties create a keyframe go back in time maybe somewhere around there and bring this down. So let's actually bring this below or out of the frame holding shift. So now we have a really nice and simple animation just like that. Then hit R to bring down the rotation properties, create a keyframe on Z rotation, hit U so we can see just the keyframes, go back in time and let's give it maybe minus 45 degree of rotation. So we have a little bit of rotation as well. Let's select all the keyframes, hit F9 and go into the graph editor. And now let's select this and drag the handle to the left, just like so. We have a really nice animation as you can see. Pretty cool. So this is looking nice. Now let's go ahead with the animation. So let's go to two seconds. Hit P to bring down the position properties and then I'll go to around 2 seconds and 15 frames. Let's bring this to around minus 1000. So we have something like that, maybe a bit more I think. Or let's actually leave it at 1000 minus 1000, that looks good. And then go to 3 seconds, create a keyframe. Go to maybe around 3 seconds and 15 frames I guess. 
and let's bring this down to zero so we have a really simple animation just like so okay then hit r to bring down the rotation keyframes go to two seconds and create a keyframe on the x rotation and then hit u so you can see just the keyframes go right over here and let's rotate it by maybe 25 degrees then go right over here let's set this to minus 30 degrees go right over here let's set this to zero so we have a really simple animation which looks pretty lame at the moment but we're gonna make it look really cool so let's go somewhere around there at maybe three two second and ten frames hit r to bring down the rotation properties of the y rotation as well create a keyframe go right over here and let's give it a rotation of one and maybe let's go with something like um, 25 let's go back and let's set this to just one so now we have a really cool animation but it's not looking that great at the moment so what i can actually do is let's select the layer and hit u so you can see just all the keyframes select all the keyframes hold control and click on them to make them linear then hit f9 and go into the graph editor then now what we can do is tweak the, every property individually so i'm going to select the position just the position and select all the points and drag the handles to the left just like so all right then select the y rotation the x rotation select this point and drag it just like so select this one drag it a little bit and let's select this one and bring this just like that then select the y rotation select this point and drag it to the right select this point and drag it to the left just like so and finally for the z rotation really simple i'm gonna just select this and pull this to the left so now we should have a really interesting animation so now it's a bit too fast i think so i'm gonna select all the layers hold alt and drag them just like so till four seconds maybe let's see pretty cool i think this is looking very nice now for the zoom i think it's a bit too less so i'll go to where we set it to minus 1000 i'm gonna set this minus 2000 let's see yep that looks much better Control c to copy the keyframe go right over here and select the keyframes hit Control v to paste it up so now we should have something like that yep that looks much more punchy that looks pretty cool now the main effect is about the 3d extrusion that we create for our logo which is practically very very simple so not to do that i'm going to select the logo layer hit p to bring down the position properties and i will be using an expression a very simple expression to displace the to displace every layer one one uh, you know by position one in z space i hope that makes sense by that what i mean is if i just hold alt and click on the position stopwatch and hit control v to paste the expression now you can see the position of the point is of the z point is set to 5 so if i duplicate it hit control d hit p now the position is 6 to 5 6 and 5 if i hit control if i hit control d you can see now it's set to 5 6 7 and just like that it's going to displace so it's going to displace into the z position at each point so for now i'm going to just delete this so now we have just one single layer so before duplicating it i'm going to add a bevel and alpha to this Let's set this to something like 5 for the light angle i'm going to set this to minus 70 and for the light intensity let's go with 0.3 all right now we can go ahead and start duplicating it so if i keep on hitting Control d
you can see we get start to get this really nice extrusion so depending on how extruded you want you can keep on duplicating it just want to keep it really high maybe something like that which looks pretty nice and there we have a really nice extrusion so I'm gonna keep it a bit more so hit control D keep on hitting control D unless and until you get the extrusion that you want so yep that looks much better I think pretty nice there we go let's really quickly what I can do is hit control Y to create a new solid this is gonna be our background so hit BG for background hit OK put this below as you can see we have number of layers actually many many layers so I'm gonna put this just below this one just like that and give it a fill give a really nice dark color and also I'm gonna add some shadow to our logo to give a bit more depth so again select the logo comp hit control D select this one again and let's call this shadow let's get rid of the Babylon bevel and alpha so I'm gonna delete that add a fill make it black so now I'm gonna add an effect called CC radial flat fast blur let's increase this let's actually set the amount really high and select this and drag the point so I'm just gonna turn on the snapping make sure you select the point and drag it somewhere around here so now you can see the shadows right over here just play around with it depending on what kind of shadow you want so yep something like that looks pretty good maybe increase the amount to 100 that is a bit too much I'll go with something like 80 yep that looks a bit more better and now we can animate the shadows so what I can do is go right over here somewhere around there create a keyframe go a few frames forward in time set this to zero let's go somewhere around there create a keyframe so I'm gonna just hit U select the keyframe hit control C control V go somewhere around there and let's bring this up to 80 so we have a really simple opacity animation for that let's select the keyframes hit F9 to easy ease those keyframes and there we go really nice and simple to create a cool 3d logo reveal now you can see here we have this issue because of the shadow layer so what I can actually do is instead of creating keyframes on this one I can create the same keyframes on the opacity so let's hit U select all the keyframes hit control X to cut that up go right over here select hit T to bring down the opacity and select the opacity hit control V so we have the same animation on the opacity let's see what we have pretty cool there we go there we have a really nice professional looking 3d extruded logo reveal so that is a wrap for today guys i hope this video was helpful and if it was make sure to subscribe comment and like and also for people who don't know a q a video is on the way so make sure to drop your questions down in the comment section below with hashtag ask dm and i will try to answer as many questions as possible in my coming up q a so yeah really excited for that as well and i'll see you in the next one till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.